So, um, uh, Brigham Young was supposed to have had a, a winter home in St. George. And uh, um, I'll just say that with that um, Mormon tea, I, I, I really didn't see any in, in Salt Lake. It was, it was only primarily ornamental. So uh, I'm guessing that when he came down here for his winter home, that's when he was consuming it, most likely. Okay, this is strange. So there's a tour going on right now, it's locked. Um, I just want to look around. I don't want to tour. Looks like there's people inside. I can kind of look around. Cotton was a big part of the growth of this area. Maybe a cotton gin there. So that guy was giving a tour inside that little schoolhouse to like two people. Oh my god. I'm really not looking for a tour. We got rosemary and sage. And oh, this is mint. Yep, that's mint. Oh yeah, it even says. <laughs> All right, so you grow, you can grow some successful plants uh, on the side of the house um, that they get enough sun and shade. You can get to, this place suffers too much sun. Do not enter the vineyard. They've picked all the, the grapes anyway. Oh, wow. This, this is, I know what this is. There's no, oh, there are some up there. Oh, figs. They're edible too. There's a couple of figs on the very top. The last, I don't see any others. Wow, this is quite the garden. Man, I could like shake them down. Oh, I'm gonna try. Nope. They're pretty strongly attached. Yeah, they didn't even budge. Oh, there's there's public bathrooms. I think that's it for uh, plants that you can eat. So, maybe a little bit of a church or something. Star, please. Thank you. As you know, Brigham only came down here in the winter months because uh, he was had, had rheumatoid arthritis and he felt better down here away from the snow and uh, ice up, up north. And also it was a more relaxed atmosphere, not as much hustle and bustle. So, and his uh, arthritis was getting progressively worse, so he mainly stayed upstairs, and people that wanted to talk with him would sit in these chairs, and then they would go up the stairs and meet with him up here. But if you were friends and family, you'd be invited into the parlor. Um, Sir, whereabouts are you from? I'm homeless, just wandering. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here looking over. Thanks. Do you know anything about Brigham Young? Yeah. Me? I know a lot, yeah. Oh, okay. I've bought him a lot. Uh -huh. So, uh, there we go. Uh, 
there's a picture of Brigham on his 75th birthday. He celebrated down here. Birthday was on June the 1st, and that picture was taken in uh, 1876. Now, everything in the home is mainly uh, uh, period furniture, unless I tell you otherwise, like this table belonged to Brigham. It was uh, made by a famous furniture maker by the name of William Bell, and it's made of pine and stained to look like mahogany, and I think it's beautiful. This uh, bookcase over here is stained to look like walnut. And we have that there because uh, Brigham understood the value of a good education. That's why he founded two universities in Utah. And probably because he only had the opportunity to have 11 days of formal schooling. His mother taught him to read. And he was a brilliant man, but a self-taught man, as so many people in those days were. Have you heard the story about the woodwork? Have you already heard that? Have you heard the about the woodwork? No, uh, I, I don't need to. That's fine. <laughs> okay. I'm mainly here just to look around. Okay. Uh, so we'll just go on in then. Yes, that doll, uh, 
Thomas Cottom was a famous chair maker, and uh, he had a little daughter, and so he carved that doll for her one winter. He even put little leather um, uh, hinges on her, her legs and her arms. Now this room was mainly, we think, was uh, the help's room that he was in his 70s when he lived here. And so he had people helping him. And they loved working for him. He treated them just like family. His first chest uh, was Brigham's. And it's stained to look like bird's eye maple. And this was the type of traveling chest Brigham liked. He liked the rounded top because he knew nothing would be stacked on top of it. And it would be the last to go in the wagon and the first to come out. <laughs> now we're going back into the newer section. The newer section, the walls were 18 inches thick. <coughs> in a beautiful room. I love all of the windows in the room. You look through the uh, windows, the panes that are wavy, those are the original panes. Now that uh, desk and bookcase there was Brigham's. It was made also by William Bell, the, his bed. And that chest over there belonged to Brigham. And it was more like his filing cabinet that he traveled with. And I love the prayer stool. I'd like to have one of my own. And then this chair over here, we believe it was the one he was sitting in when he had his picture taken for his 75th birthday, or else one similar to it, with the beehive carving at the top as a symbol of industry, and the lion's claws on the back. He was often called the Lion of the Lord. given to him on his 70th birthday by our And uh, it's made out of wool and horse hair. And then on this wall, uh, this window was specifically put in at the request of Brigham because he could stand at that window and he can look directly across and he could see the construction of the tabernacle and then before the buildings were built, he could look to the left and see the construction of the temple. And then last, this picture right here is a picture of the first presidency and the 12 apostles. Look how young Brigham looks in that picture. That was taken in 1853, and he went across the plains in 1846-47, so he looks similar to that then. <coughs> And then the apostles, a lot of important people there. Uh, Wilford Woodruff, going to be a prophet. John Taylor, Lorenzo Snow. And uh, there, those uh, at that time, the apostles were ranked according to their age. Now they're ranked whenever they receive their apostleship. Do you have any questions for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you just you. like coming here, huh? Yeah, we do. That's good. I do too. I love giving tours here. Okay. Thank you for coming Thank in. You. And Thank you're you. welcome. See the back of Brigham Young's house, and this weird thing. Gosh, that's weird. Somebody really likes making art out of garbage. <laughs> <laughs>